Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Welcome back to the channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this right here is the episode we've been waiting for really since last week, given how niggas were talking about 1071. Hell yeah, bro. The streets have been talking, but you know, fuck them. At the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, what a time. What a time to be an anime fan, but <laughs> more importantly, what a time to be a One Piece fan, bro. Like, I said it before and I said it again. Me personally, Gear 5 was absolutely amazing. As a One Piece fan, like, niggas got, I literally damn near broke down crying. I had teary eyes watching it. At the end of the day, it's like, <laughs> that shit was hard. <laughs> and it felt like a proud dad moment at the nah, end. Nah, dead ass, bro. Like, you know, just to speak real quick on the criticism of 1071, people saying, oh, they just reuse scenes and all of that good shit. Like, niggas need to really, like, look into, like, what they're talking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole episode was just to flex. There was no fighting supposed to be in that shit. The fighting that was in it was literally to flex. What you wanted last episode is in this episode. And at the end of the day, to... All the actual One Piece fans who just couldn't help but smile watching that shit like us. That's why that shit is called Joy Boy. Not to get too deep into the whole Sun God shit and all that other shit. But at the end of the day, it's so perfect for Luffy's personality. And it really, I think it really brought out the joy and everything. Like, I think it all fits. Oda himself said... He didn't want it to be too serious. I think that shit is perfect the way it is. Yeah, sir, sir. Hey, man. We're about to see what this fight talking about. Let's Because that preview, I ain't seen nothing else in it. It was let's just rock. them. So let's get it. Like you can't just you just can't help but cheese when, the, when you see this gear five shit. That's what I'm saying. Gum gum no mi no, mo hitotsu no na wa zonke. Hito hito no mi, genju shu, model. Nika. Sono karada wa. Talk to me.
Gear 5 in full play. Talk to me. Talk to me. I heard Gear 5 is supposed to be a four episode period. Yeah. <laughs> he said me too. <laughs> That's crazy. That was for awakening. Ramishia <laughs> Know that shit hurts. You could say it's like laws and jack shot. This is crazy. He just turned his man to a balloon animal. That's what I'm saying. I was low key, I was low key thinking that, but like. What the fuck? Oh, 
You gotta jump over with that nigga? Yup. You know, it's crazy how badly Luffy will whoop both these niggas. Yeah, yeah. As strong as they are. Although, he's clearing through that battlefield the same way Kaido would. Yeah. 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 てめえ、さっきも余力はないって言ってたな。弱気か。はかない夢を見た。だったか。弱気なこと言ってたのは。てめえだろ。ああ。正気が老眼な顔が。てめえと麦わらより先に。倒れるつもりはねえんだよ。麦わらの人が繋いだ希望だ。俺たちがそれを手放して諦めるわけにはいかねえんだよ。おたま大丈夫。次にあの穴から降りてくるのはカイドウじゃない。ルフィ、ルフィ。ウィーウェル。ベン
being loony attacking or keeping up with bouncing around against and all that other shit. And like, when you look feet wise, what we're watching is very impressive. It's just goofy as hell and very different at the same time. But I would say that shit is amazing once again. Yeah, like the whole idea of like niggas are loving to throw around that it copied Super Saiyan. Like, I don't. But then they're gonna go at the same time say it's not serious enough. As far as copied Super Saiyan, like, I think that's just reaching out out your ass because it's like I don't really like. I literally have to scratch my head to try to think of. How? Because like if you want to say sound day, effects, sure, nigga, sound effects. I'll give it to you, sure. Yeah, nigga. it's like at the end of the day, like, I'm a one nigga, piece. It's a sound effect. Like we're one piece stands, but don't get it fucked up. I'm a Dragon Ball stand too. At the end of the day, I just know what's better, and that's One Piece. But that's a combo for another day, not this kind of video. That being said, though, I don't really see any parallels. For how you can say they're similar. It's not even close. Like, there's literally no part. Like, unless they're talking about the lightning. But, I mean, if you've been watching One Piece, you know that's just the One Piece thing for Conqueror's Hockey. So, I don't really see where that's coming from. Yeah, like. But into but, the episode, though, like. This nigga Luffy. First things first, that side effect. When he was, like. How he was saying it takes up a lot of my energy. Like, I'm mad tired after this. Not only does that make perfect fucking sense, given what he's doing and what mm-hmm. he's been doing for the last couple episodes, but... Wow, what a draw. Like, it reminds me of Gear 3 when he first started using it. And just like Gear 3, I'm assuming he's going to get over that very soon. But... Yeah. It was cool kind of seeing him go back into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, heavy on that for both. Just because it really kind of shows that he's owning this power too. Like, even though it's his debut, it kind of reminded me of Gear 4 also. Just, it was a lot different. When he went through that drought, it was 10 minutes. Then after a whole cake, it was one minute after the Udon prison training. I don't know how much time passed, but it didn't feel like more than 30 seconds. Yeah. And this is Gear 5th that we're talking about. It just got to be a hundred times more for him to go back. Like that was kind of cool, but it's interesting. You say that. Cause I was low-key thinking about it during the episode. And I think that was a great time to ask. Who do you think has been more impressive durability and endurance wise, mostly endurance Kaido or Luffy. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Kaido, but it's very close. And for the simple fact that even before Luffy and them pulled up, he was boxing. It's just straight, it's just straight hands the whole of Wano, basically. Since, started. Since the shit started, he been boxing. Mm-hmm. And then Luffy pull up, and now he got to fight a nigga like Luffy and the other four. Because Big Mom basically didn't help. Yeah, he really hasn't had any breaks, truth be told. And when you really think about it, my biggest thing that sells me is he's also carrying Onigashima mm-hmm. while all of this has been going on. Like, Momonosuke started to make his own clouds, but it was still being carried by Kaido's. Yeah. So it was like, keeping that in mind, I, I feel like it just by default has to be him. But knowing that Luffy's a close second, I think that plays a huge factor because we still got to see more of it before we can really power scale it. But we're getting a lot of insight. And watching what Luffy's doing, I will say, like, I'm not going to just say he's at his peak because that would imply this is the strongest he's going to get by the time the end of the story comes. But at the same time, there's really not much else left he really could do. I'm low-key thinking, like, what we're seeing right now is not even how he's going to fight with Gear 5 going forward. Yeah. I think this is literally him just testing what, what else, like, he can do whatever he wants right now. So he's yeah, literally he, doing he's literally, whatever he wants. 
Like, he's literally naming the attacks as we're watching it. Like, this is literally his test run with it. Yeah. He usually had training before. I think that plays a factor, mm-hmm. too. So, like, he, what we're seeing right now is not end result Luffy when he's fighting. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen it in uh, Film Red. He went from Snake Man King Cobra into Gear 5. Now, it didn't show us too much, but... It was, like, different just in general, like, that atmosphere behind that attack. Like, the ferocity, the damage, obviously. I mean, it matched up with Shanks. Yeah. I think he's going to fight completely different at the end of the series than he's fighting right now. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, type of shit. And I will say, you know, Kaido's, you know, language can be a big thing. Kaido pretty much confirmed he was using Advanced Conquerors and Armament, coding his attacks with it. And we already know he started using Advanced Observation. So, knowing Luffy's banging out, I'm not sure if Luffy was coding his attacks when he did. Like, when he jade the shit out of Kaido, hit him in the face. I'm not really sure if Luffy coded his attack there or if he just hit him. And if he's just hitting them, that's still insane that he's doing that. But at the same time, it really wouldn't surprise me either way. Yeah. And that attack when he literally put his fist, it almost looked like through Kaido's face. It really makes you wonder because we know, I mean, he was inside of Kaido and turned him to rubber. He was like, why am like, I'm not made of rubber. Why am I like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. everything Luffy touches is rubber. So obviously when he punched him in the face, his face was like rubbery and that's why it indented in him and shit. I'm really curious like how much damage cuz just as you said we don't know if he actually had advanced armament and advanced conquerors on that punch. Man. So it's like how much damage did that really do to Kaido? That and that's kind of why I'm really wondering is he actually coding his attacks right now? Because it really doesn't seem that way. They're going out of their way to emphasize it, at least with the lightning. Yeah. Like, it really doesn't look like Because the that. shit looked fucking ferocious, but that's also because of, like, his awakening. And when you consider the type of creature Kaido is, it would make sense that he's eating that. Re- he's probably eating that regardless, but it would make more, especially knowing his face turns to rubber. But knowing there's no hockey on that, it's probably just a normal punch. Just yeah. crazy and shit. And he, he flew with it. some speed, too, when he got hit. And I will say, Kaido was moving. Props off to him. Because no one likes to talk about Kaido in the speedster category. But Luffy's moving right now. I want to see Luffy match up and you know flash forward it's gonna be nice but i really gotta see luffy how his speed compares to someone like he's ruining now because it's safe to assume luffy is the next fastest but is he closer to the top or is the cliff start after and now like how does that play a factor because from what we just saw when he starts moving he starts moving now, Kaido was still tracking him, but I would assume all the top tiers can track even Kizaru when he moves. Yeah. Especially just looking at what Shanks did in Film Red. And that's the biggest thing, too, is, like, does this start after Kizaru? Or does it start after, or not Kizaru, does it start after Anel or does it start after Shanks? Yeah, you would say for now Shanks is third fastest? For now, yeah. Until yeah. we actually just know. I'm a, Who would you I'm say is your top know. five? If you had to just think of one. Uh, Kizaru and Nell, Shanks, Luffy, probably Dragon. Yeah, okay. For me, I'd probably go Kizaru and Nell by default. I could go either way between Shanks and Luffy. I'm going to go Luffy, then Shanks. Five, I'm going to go Aokiji. But, you know... I will say, Luffy, like, you see, niggas try to say it's not, it's too goofy. 
there's definitely draws you can take away power scaling wise. You just got to be a power scaler or just like, I guess, care about it. Either way, it was nice as shit to see. And it was also hilarious to see everyone's reaction to Gear 5th. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. And I'm not going to lie, like, even though Luffy is goofy as shit in Gear 5, Mm -hmm. you can see his serious face is still in there. Yeah. And not just that, but you can also see, like, at the end of the episode, no nigga, like, Joy Boy is not controlling Luffy. He said, I'm Monkey D. Luffy, and I will be King of the Pirates. That is Luffy, nigga. Like, come on now. Yeah, you know, I'm happy happy you said that, because I'm not going to put anyone on the spot. But, you know, this ain't even the street talk. This is just the OG talk. Someone used to tell me that Luffy used to get controlled. And this is a perfect time to say to all of you dickheads, like he was saying, who think that way. Luffy's not getting controlled. He's getting influenced. That's two different things. And I feel like right there, he he literally said it. Nigga, I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm going to whoop your ass and I'm going to be the Pirate King. Uh-huh. Fuck His what you word. talking about. That is Luffy. Man, that was our goat though. But overall, the excitement was there. It was definitely a 10. Like, this was truly a amazing episode once again after the last one. I heard Gear 5 is going to be coming for three to four more episodes, so hey, I'm here for it. One Piece is in his bag. I don't know if it counts for anime of the year, just because it's a every week episode type of thing. So, I don't know if it would count, but if we're counting it, it's by default One Piece, and if not, it's Bleach. But, hey, that's just how I feel about the episode. How do you feel? Easy, 10 out of 10. You know, one thing that we're not talking about, niggas like to say, it's too goofy. But we haven't had humor like this in One Piece in, like, 500 episodes. Yeah. It's nice as shit to see that again. Oh, you know what, bro? I'm really happy you say that. Because the same niggas saying it's too goofy are the same niggas that will tell you with a straight face. Pre time skip is better than post time skip because of that aspect right there. It's too serious. This is the goofiest shit I've seen since pre time skip. Literally. Anything else that has me crying, laughing like this, it's probably from pre time skip. Like, the only other shit I could think of is the uh, God Usopp when he ate that hot ass shit and made that face. I was Literally. fucking crying. Other than that, it's been straight serious the whole way for the new world. Yeah, like, it doesn't compare. And the serious fight aspect is still there just because of who he's fighting. Like, it's not like this nigga's doing gear fifth against fucking, like, Queen or some shit. Fucking Foxy or some shit, like. Yeah, like. Like, it's Big Kaido. If it's one-on-one, bet on that nigga. Unless he's fighting Luffy, you feel me? Literally. But let us know how you're betting on this episode. Did it really rock your boat? Was it a 10 out of 10 for you? Let us know in the comments. Because it was for us. You know what I'm saying? And just as Glee said, I don't know if One Piece counts for anime of the year. But if it does, you already know how I'm rocking. But if it doesn't, it's Bleach by default. And you know, we got both on the channel. So make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. We are dropping nothing but bangers. You may be wondering why the first One Piece episode on the channel is 1072. (laughs) Yeah. Is because we got sniped. Now, the show must go on, of course. But make sure you guys follow us on all of our socials just in case. Sons of Tokyo on every single platform. One link will take you to all of them. It will be in the description. Make sure you guys click that and follow us. Um, Also in the description will be our Discord. Make sure you guys join that. Tap in with us. Come chill with us. Talk about anything. It doesn't matter what. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. With that being said, SOT out.